And so the next stage of the process would be to assemble these traps or wedges using picture frames and rock wool with normal bed sheet breathable clothing. So I will start with an initial prototype design, then proceed to fabricate the final assembly design. So first select the screw and the drill bit that will be utilized in linking or assembling two picture frames together. Ensure that your screw doesn't go beyond the depth or thickness of the picture frame. And also ensure that you mask your drill bit with the length of the screw so that when you drill through your picture frame, it doesn't exit on the other side. The angle bracket will provide the desired robustness for both of them picture frames that will be utilized to build the base trap build. Measure the length of your frame, you know, and decide where you'd want to locate your angle bracket. You can decide to locate it at the mid center, at the very top, or, you know, further down. Two or three brackets adjoining both picture frames should be sufficient enough as you want them brackets to be evenly distributed. Once sorted, mark out them positions at the mid center or further to the left or right of the picture frame length. And once we've sorted out the required drilling depth and drilling location, we can proceed to drill. Holes for the installation of the angled bracket. An angled bracket will be used to secure both frames together. This will provide the basic frame structure or the building block for the base trap. Then subsequently, we select the piece to screw bit to screw down the anchor, screw into the wood or picture frame, push the knob down at the trigger and vary the speed to one on the drill, which would be used to screw down the anchor onto the picture frames. Then subsequently repeat and reproduce the process for other anchor positions on both picture frames. This will form the basic building frame for how the rock wall sits on the sides of the base trap. We can rework or remodify the basic building frame um, with thicker pine wood of varying lengths. This will be exemplified at a later stage. At this stage, we're just showing how you can improvise if you're working on a budget and haven't got access to building materials. Utilization of pine wood frames would mean a more sturdier frame, okay? Suffice to say, utilization of picture frames just about does the job, but you know, if you want, you know, a frame that sturdily built, you could utilize pine wood, you know, of, of greater thickness. The next step of the process would be to measure, mark out, cut, assemble and install both the top and the bottom base. Here I have marked out the picture back board covering that was retrieved from a picture frame. Having marked it up in various positions, the next step would be to cut out the marked positions. These cut out pieces will form the top and bottom base pieces of the base trap building blocks. Once I've cut out all the pieces, I will replicate the drilling process for all them pieces onto the top and base of the base trap, okay? Then subsequently, replicate the screw down process for the top and bottom base of the base traps. Using the base of the base trap, cut out several layers or stratas of rock wool that will be subsequently inserted or embedded into the base trap, okay? One on top of each other. Then use the bed sheet breathable clothing to cover up the base trap, okay? And then subsequently use a staple gun to secure the clothing onto the base trap frame. Now that we've been able to work out the bill of materials to build the replica base trap model, we can remodify this process by actually using pine wood and plywood at a subsequent stage where the cutting of the top and bottom base frame would be more refined or aesthetically pleasing and the side frames of the base 
trap more stadia with increased thickness to build a more sturdier base trap which I will be showing at a later stage which will also encompass the acoustic fabric of better quality and so lastly I will be installing the breathable clothing with a staple gun onto the picture frame and if the paints are in flush you know you can make them flush with a hammer and also make sure that you're driving you know the pins into the wood frame as opposed to the clothing and so here you have an assembly of the base traps and acoustic panels that have been fabricated or built. Click on the description link on how to fabricate quality acoustic panels and quality base traps with their respective quality acoustic dampening fabrics built relatively with pine wood and hardwood plywood. And that's about it really. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share, help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Goodbye.